If you're an agent who's 10 plus years in the business, you might be finding yourself in a slump or maybe you've hit a plateau or you're just frustrated with the business. Things aren't working. You're not, you're not experiencing the productivity. Maybe you're used to doing 20 or 30 deals and you're doing like 10 or something, right? So what is that? It's, uh, you know, we could blame the market. Sure, the, the circumstances have changed. In the end, it comes down to you. Like it, this is not a market problem. This is a you problem. And I want to walk you through step by step what it is that I do to help agents create these exponentials because mindset is the one change that changes everything. Now, we'll start off with a story from Hilda. Uh, last year, 2023, worst year of her entire career, 20 years in the business and just blowing it hard. Within 90 days of implementing advanced mindset techniques, she's on track to match the best year of her entire career. So within 90 days, these are the kind of results that I want to talk about. Now, they're different for everybody, right? Not everybody's going to get like these crazy exponentials, but pretty close. Here's what I find. You have a particular frame of mind. It's influencing your current structures, right? You already have like your CRM, your database. You already have some sort of marketing in place. You have a procedure for doing transactions, a procedure we're learning new procedures for working with buyers, but you know, procedure for working with buyers, procedure for working with sellers, getting deals closed, et cetera. You have a certain skill set. You're good at building rapport. You're good at connecting with people. You know how to guide people. You, you're, you know, you know how to negotiate, you know, all of that, right? So all of those things then create your current results, income, days off, holidays, investments, and well-being. Now, I'll give you an example here. Eric, uh, experienced agents, 20 years in the business, San Diego market, and last year getting slaughtered. Slaught he only did five deals the whole year. Uh, he started doing advanced mindset techniques at the very, very end of the year. And by the time he hit June of this year, he had doubled his number of closings. So he was up to 10. He had a few pending. Here's the thing. He knew what to do. He was working on like, oh my gosh, in, in 2023, changing his systems, changing his structures, trying to like, what do I do? What do I do? Like knew this, knew that, new prospecting, knew all these new things. And it wasn't working. He was working on his skill sets and it wasn't working. It was creating these tiny little uh, incremental results, but his income, his days off, his holidays, investments, his well-being were essentially stuck. Now, another example of this is Robin. And she was working on all the systems, the procedures, the processes. She was working on her skills and it wasn't making that big of a difference. She started working on advanced mindset techniques. And in the first four months of 2024, she literally matched her income for all of 2023. She's on track for a 300% increase. We didn't change her skills. We didn't change her process. We didn't change her procedures, none of that stuff. What we worked on was her mindset. Advanced mindset work creates exponential results. Meaning when you apply advanced mindset techniques to your existing structures, right? You already have a business. You're already functioning. You already have skills. You already know what to do. You already know how to make money right? We apply these advanced mindset techniques to your existing business and we can get these exponentials. Advanced mindset techniques are incredible. I'll give you an example. Connie Joe in 2023, she had shut down her brokerage. She was feeling um, apathy and like hope, sort of hopelessness towards the business. Uh, she was thinking of getting out of the business. Connie Joe got into the program and in the last four months of last year, she made $300,000. So advanced mindset techniques create this interesting dynamic where you do more, but you work less. And that, and the brain just goes like, oh, like how is that even possible? But I want to show you how that's possible. So what happens is traditional mindset work gives you this very nice growth in your business, right? Year one, year two, year three, year four advanced mindset techniques in the first year you just have these explosive results that occur and then you're off on a totally different trajectory I'll give an example of that uh um johnny started last middle of october of last year by the time he hit december he had the best month of his entire career so he was like a two deal a month guy which is i mean let's be honest 24 year really good 
Uh, but in December of last year, he did 10 deals. He just changed his mindset using advanced mindset techniques. He applied those to existing skills, existing procedures, like he had a business, right? But he just, he changed the way he was relating to things. It improved who he was being as a person that changed the actions that he was taking. And then he got better results. Now I'll show you what we do. Most people work on these traditional mindset techniques. And unfortunately, traditional mindset techniques lead to the grind. And here's why. Traditional mindset techniques are subject to the hidden motives to survive. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. What we do is we work on moving you up into these, what I call enlightened states. An enlightened state is a modern, rational, well-informed perspective. Look it up in the dictionary. Uh, just define enlightened, okay? Modern, rational, well-informed state. Rapid, fast, modern, rational, well-informed, enlightened process, systematic, right? So it's replicatable. And what this does is it moves you into a flow state. Now we apply your flow state to everything you're doing and your results just start going up. You go into these domains of thriving. We're going to talk about that in a second. Here's what most people are doing. Most people are doing traditional mindset work. And I will say that every teacher out there is teaching some variation on the teachers from the past. I am too. Okay. I am. Remember, um, my mentor was Mike Ferry. Mike Ferry was mentored by a man named Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale started the uh, personal development and mindset industry. And Earl Nightingale's mentor was a man named Napoleon Hill. So I'm a fourth generation personal development and mindset teacher. I do use a lot of the tried and true stuff, but I also, because I've coached more than 10,000 people, I've discerned that, that a lot of the traditional mindset stuff doesn't work in practical application. And I know that because I've been accountable for results. And so I've been accountable, like people hired me. I had to teach them mindset work to get their, their productivity up, to get their income up. And then it didn't work. And then it didn't work again and again and again and again and again. And, uh, you know, I will admit that there were times where I was like feeling up pretty hopeless uh, that my teachers uh, were, were telling us to do things that weren't really working that well. Um, positive affirmations, shadow work, positive thinking, affirmations, healing the inner child, gratitude, dream boards, visioning, mindfulness. These things all work to a degree. So I, I'm in no way am I saying these things don't um, create improvement in your well-being and in your life. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that they are subject to the hidden motives to survive. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. So what is this? This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And so you've achieved your physiological needs, your safety needs, your belonging needs, your esteem. You're working on your self-actualization. So was I, so are so many of my clients. And yet, You've done the work and you're still getting pulled back into worry, doubt, and freak out and fear and upset and annoyance and all of those things. Like, what is that? Well, I went to Tibet in, in 2006 and I meditated there for 17 days. I was a meditator already, right? So I've been meditating for like 10 years uh, before that and uh, maybe even longer actually. Uh, but what happened was, my, in my meditation, I started to have these realizations for the first time. I started to see the root cause of negative thinking. Like, where does negative thinking come from? And the root cause are these hidden motives to survive. So greed, grudge, hatred, victim, illogical rules, humble traitor, pride, resistance, and lazy. Now, these are not thoughts that you're having. These are instinctive drives that are, are evolution. Like, Every one of us has greed built into us because it really works. Being afraid you won't have enough drives you to go get something. Um, being, being afraid that a person or a thing is going to harm you in the future, that's a grudge. Well, that like drives you to like move around them or, you know, maybe attack them or whatever. Right? These are like really positive survival traits that every one of us has. And what they're doing is they're driving your negative thinking. They're driving your worry, your uncertainty, your fear, your doubt. They actually cause you to um, go into a motivated state. And, and when you're motivated, 
someone like you, when you're motivated, it actually doesn't work. So ultimately what we wanna do is we wanna transcend these traditional states and we want to move into this rapid enlightenment state. And this is a state that essentially implies that all is well in life. So when you, when you actually live from the context that all is well, you go into these flow states and you start to experience these domains of thriving. Now, what most people are doing is most people are working on their basic mindset techniques and then the hidden motives are driving unconscious reflexes. So you notice that the arrow is now moving up, right? So they're mo they're, they're these unconscious reflexes, right? Something's wrong with me. I'm not good enough. Here you're, you're doing your dream board. You've done the healing of the inner child. You're doing your inner work, your mindfulness, all of this stuff. And you're still like, I need to prove myself. Why do I feel like a fraud? I'm not good enough. People, you know, I don't like those people. Life isn't fair. The future is bleak. I don't want to fail, right? These are, of course, broad, generalized ways of thinking. You have your own sort of nuanced version of these, but they are getting triggered if you're working inside of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We actually need to transcend this. So I'll give an example. Mance was 2023 stuck in doing it right, proving worthiness, trying not to be embarrassed, trying not to fail. Those were the drivers. He didn't know that. What it, what it felt like to him was like, you know, I'm trying to get motivated. I'm trying to make this happen. I'm going to overcome. I'm going to succeed. Um, but when you have those feelings, what's actually happening is they're getting triggered by these hidden motives to survive motivation. So Mance had these motives running that kept pulling him back into negative feelings, um, negative emotions, feeling like he wasn't good enough, what's wrong with me. Um, he was having a, a terrible year last year and it's because he was building a team and he didn't wanna build a team, but, he, but like all of his coaches said, that's the way you do it. You have to create all of these, uh, you have to create leverage and all of this stuff. So here he was this young guy trying to build a team and it was driving him crazy. So using advanced mindset techniques, he finally gave that up and he just went back to what he knew to do. In the first four months of the year, he actually achieved the income and sales of what he had done all of last year. In fact, this year in 2024, he's on track to have the best year of his entire career. All we did was shift his mindset. Then he stopped doing a, a bunch of things that were out of guilt and obligation. And he started doing a bunch of things that made sense to him. And next thing you know, everything started working. I didn't teach him skills. I didn't teach him what to do. I didn't tell him like, hey, here's the process, the procedure, the workflow. Here's a new income. So I didn't do any of that. I don't work with people who don't know what to do. I work with people who already know what to do, who are seasoned, who are experienced, who understand the business. And then everything starts to work. Now, Mance was constantly getting hit by these unconscious reflexes. Let me go back here, I'll show you what I mean. So the hidden motives drive these unconscious reflexes. Unconscious reflexes are essentially the mouthpiece for the drunk monkey in your head. They're the mouthpiece for your survival consciousness. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Survival consciousness follows these 12 patterned ways of thinking. Forecasting the negative, desire to fit in, holding people accountable, avoiding making the same mistake twice, following rules, avoiding failure, avoiding embarrassment, protecting yourself from the unknown, having opinions about things you know nothing about, being right, proving uh, being better than others, and proving worthiness. These things actually cause you to malfunction and the best version of you does not come out when you're having some variation on this in your thinking. The goal is to eliminate this. I'll give you an example. Jack was afraid to raise his price point. He felt like he wasn't good enough. He felt like a fraud. He felt like, I don't relate to these people. I can't talk to them. And using advanced mindset techniques, he transcended and overcame that. And suddenly he became empowered, inspired, and energized. He, he entered into the domains of thriving. All he did was just do what he thought he should do, which is, I'm just gonna call the neighborhoods that have higher price points. I'm going to market and advertise to the neighborhoods that have higher price points. And next thing you know, in the first six months, he actually doubled his production. 
I didn't teach him what to do. I just got him to be activated and do the things that he knew to do. He was stuck down here trying to motivate himself, but he kept getting pulled back into the hidden motives. I asked him and taught him to start to ascend into these all as well states, get into the flow, and then achieve these domains of thriving. And voila, these are the domains of thriving. So you have abundance, forgiving, kind, empowered, rational, confident, transparent, authentic, accepting, and inspired. When you're there, things are so much easier, right? It's like you're more effective, you're more empowered, you're doing, you're doing things because you're in a rational state. You're doing things because you're empowered. You're feeling the, in, the energy of inspiration. You are experiencing abundance and confidence. It's so powerful. I'll give you an example. Kelly moved states. It threw her into survival. She started getting um, angry, aggressive, uh, you know, like, Ur! she had that, like, that bite that was happening. And it was actually impeding and reducing her ability to produce. She implemented advanced mindset techniques. And now this year, 2024, she's been carrying 12 to 18 transactions in her pipeline. She's been traveling more. I believe that she's been on five vacations already this year and she's entered into that flow state. I want these results for you, but you can't get it by working on a new lead gen system. You can't get it by working on your traditional mindset stuff. It just, it doesn't work. I'm just telling you after 31 years of working on this, I can tell you with absolute certainty, you have to implement advanced mindset techniques, not traditional mindset techniques. So what I've done is I've boiled 30 years of coaching down to 30 succinct lessons that can be done in about 30 minutes a day. And here's what you need to know. So I call it the stress-free income accelerator. So I, I used to spend o a, over a year, essentially, teaching people these lessons to get them to get lift. And I started experimenting with what if we boiled it down and we exposed people like every day to some, you know, just a tiny little lesson that will completely transform their world. And wow, we does it, it works. It works to the tune of we guarantee that you'll get more clients, more money, more sales. You'll do it stress-free in 90 days or you don't pay a thing. It works to the point where we have 97.9% .9 of every person that signs up gets the results. So we only have, we have this tiny, tiny group of people that ask for their money back. And so the, all I'm trying to help you to understand is like, this is not a risk. If this feels right to you, then you should book a call immediately. Now, let me show you the stress-free income accelerator and, and the lessons. You're going to notice there's some parts of this that, that have the traditional mindset stuff in it. And then there's a whole bunch of it that has advanced. So the most cherished experience, the first thing you're going to do when you do my training is you're actually going to define your goals in a completely new way. What most people do is they set goals to fix things that are broken and, uh, and they, then, they, then they hope to get inspired by it. They hope to get motivated by it. Uh, but the energy usually collapses, meaning um, you go like, I'm going to do this thing and we're going to make this happen and big, hairy, audacious goals, blah, right? All of this stuff. And like you get kind of fired up and then the energy sinks away. And that's, that's because you haven't connected with your most cherished experience. You haven't connected with what is actually going to give you the results that you want. And so we start there. Then we move into something that I hope you're already familiar with. Um, but if you, if you are in a slump or if you are um, plateauing or frustrated with the market, it's likely that you have stopped really expressing kindness. And what I found is, one, we have to get you connected to the true activator of your goal energy. Then we've got to get you into a, a place where you're experiencing that giver's high. And then I teach you a methodology to do this actively to every one of your past clients, your sphere of influence, the people that you're coming across. So giving the gift is something that will blow your mind. What it does is it creates these exponential results. And the reason being is it activates something called prosperity network dynamics. Let me tell you what that means. Uh, in prosperity network dynamics, essentially you are going to optimize your network so that opportunity flow starts to come to you and the gift 
is something that helps you to do that. On day four or session four, right? So to, you can do the fast track or you can do the slow track. Either one is okay. Uh, most people just get right in there and they start doing a lesson every day because you can do it in under 30 minutes, right? So it's like, take your your um, 30 minutes that you're applying to audiobooks or podcasts and you do this instead to get a guaranteed result. But I wanna have you start asking questions that will change your life. For example, have you ever asked yourself a question, could I make one call and get 20 listings? Now the brain just immediately goes like, that's stupid, it's never gonna happen, blah, right? Like the brain goes right into survival mode. But what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get you to start asking some courageous questions because the quality of your life is really dependent upon the quality of questions that you ask. Then we're going to do a lesson next on people. Actually, we're gonna do that three, three lessons in a row. So it turns out that the people in your life the sellers, the buyers, uh, NAR, your broker, all, all of these people are doing the best they can given the situation that they're in, how they were, how they were raised. If you, if you are uh, frustrated or annoyed or agitated with anybody in your life, it actually impedes your ability to be productive. You're likely also holding people and yourself accountable to agreements that you didn't make. Like you didn't make the agreement, the people in your life didn't make the agreement. And because you're holding them to that, you actually slow down your energy because you're in a state of resistance. Now, these first one, two, three, four, five, six days are going to transform your life. You are going to get lift like nobody's business. These can all be done literally in under 30 minutes. Then you're gonna do something called recontextualization. Recontextualization, um, in, in the past, you might've thought of this as like reframing, but recontextualization is something different. It does two things. It implies that all is well, and it physically makes you strong because when you're a strong person, everything works. Then we do something called releasing attachment. So we start by asking big questions, similar to courageous questions, right? But big questions about, changing your life and designing your life exactly the way that you want, then we deal with something called attachment, which is an exaggerated fear of losing an imaginary benefit. And what it, it turns out that all minds, all survival minds have these attachments. Then we're gonna talk about rules that don't exist. Then we're going to talk about the failure to fortune formula, because it turns out that failure is one of the most important things that you could be experiencing as a person. And if you're not failing, then you're not growing. But the issue is, is that the mind, especially if you're an experienced agent, the mind puts failure into a category like bad, wrong, et cetera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually turn, turn your projects, turn everything that you're doing into experiments. And when we turn them into experiments and we put on our lab coat and we put on our on our goggles and we put on our hat and the whole thing and we put on our scientist uh outfit what we're going to find is that failure becomes an interesting data point then we're going to release victim then we're going to take on your survival consciousness then we're going to work on this thing there's a whole contextual framework i did using something called applied kinesiology we do that here uh we do that here and we do that somewhere else, one other place. <laughs> we'll find it in a moment, okay? Then we're going to work on something called mastery level manifesting. Then the art of subtraction. Now, you've never done the art of subtraction, but the art of subtraction is actually the way you do more is by doing less. Now, I know your brain just goes like, Matthew, that's completely irrational. No, it's not. It, if you are a worker bee, if you are stuck in the mechanistic uh, and, um, you know, like, let's say industrial age thinking, then, then you think that more equals more, but it actually doesn't in this day and age, less equals more. And if you don't start doing less, taking on less, focusing on less, taking things away, you'll always be stuck. Then we're going to talk about the structure that gets created by what you speak. Then we're going to release humble. Then we're going to work on being fearless. Then we're going to talk about this thing called riding the waves of energy. Then here's another thing that I told you about where we work on being strong. Then we're going to get the drunk monkey out of the way, forecasting the negative. Then we do three 
lessons on integrity. And these lessons on integrity are like nothing you have ever done before because most people think that integrity is like your morals and your values. And that's actually not what integrity is. Integrity means that what you do functions and works and is solid. And so we're going to work on these advanced mindset techniques. Then we're gonna recontextualize resistance. We're gonna work on being versus doing. We're gonna work on the context that everything you do is perfect. Then we're gonna get back into the mode of asking for what we want. Then we're gonna work on four specific things that activate luck. And then ultimately we're going to determine that there are no bad goals, just bad deadlines, and there are experiments to run. My friend, this is exactly how I can guarantee that you get results. Here's an example. Uh, Jack Sai cut his stress levels in half in 90 days. He was worried that if he wasn't like some big baller agent, uh, that he couldn't recruit the way that he wanted. He's an EXP agent and he wanted to build a big downline. But we worked through the mental, emotional, um, you know, gobbledygook really that was in there. We got him focused on the thing that he wanted, which was to build his downline. He got 40 more agents. He increased his residual income by 50% in three months. These are the kinds of results that I'm talking about here. Now, our 30-day objective is to eliminate negative thoughts and get you into action so that you could take advantage of your current results and your current opportunities. What Really, what we want to do is, in the first 30 days, we want to basically open your eyes to all of the possibility that is there, and then we want to harvest that. More sales, more buyers, more listings, more deals. We want to do that like immediately. Then, in the next 60 days, we want to get momentum. In other words, the, the activities that you were doing in the first 30 days, we start to feel the ramp up in the productivity and the income generation. And then finally, in the last 90 days, you're going to generate more revenue. You're going to get more sales. You're going to do it more with, you know, get more clients. You're going to feel more inspired. You're going to feel more empowered. And in fact, um, this is guaranteed. Like that either happens or you don't pay. Now, it all comes with, like I said, a 90-day a, a money-back guarantee. I don't know if there's anybody else in, in this industry that provides you with that. I don't think that there is. I don't think they do. But I've done the work, right? So I know exactly what works. I've been accountable for getting results. So I can't just like make things up and then hope they work. Like everything that I've done, everything that I'm going to take you through is actually a, a systematic proven process to get you productive. So much so that I guarantee it works so you don't pay. Now, I'll give you another example here. Uh, Dave Bemis is a longtime agent, but he wanted to start flipping, but he was afraid. And literally he'd been thinking about flipping for like 20 years. And, and he got the courage to do it. He applied advanced mindset techniques. He made $100,000 in the first quarter of this year. It was the best first quarter that he had ever had as an agent. Another example, uh, you know, Sean is a, he's a mega agent. He does about a, 100 to 120 deals a year, um, but he's a grinder. And he knew that there was something more. He knew that he could do, uh, he could generate more income uh, by working less. And I just opened his eyes, right? I got him out of this grinder mentality. Oh, he opened his eyes. And within 60 days, he did a deal that, that equaled the value of 33 of his normal deals. So he basically took like one, one year, he took three months worth of, of activity and he did it in one deal. That's the exponential that we're talking about here. And so again, it's guaranteed to get you more clients, to make you more money, to do it stress-free in 90 days, or you don't pay a thing. If you haven't booked a call with us yet, 100% book a call. Book a call and, and let one of my clients, success, success strategists, go through and help you identify what your goals are, help you to identify what your blocks are, and then present our solution. Today, I showed you one component, right? Like we. Uh, our, our process actually has like 19 times where you get to talk to me every single month and 10 times where you can get coaching every single month and events and, and, you know, other trainings. I mean, like we have so much stuff that we can offer you. Uh, but you know, I can't tell you all of it now, right? What I'm trying to get you to understand now is like, this is different. This is not what other people are doing. This is not, you're not going to get in here and, and go like, oh, I've been to Joe Dispenza. 
This is the same thing. This is nowhere even remotely close to the same thing. Oh, I've been to Tony Robbins, and it's the same thing. This is nowhere even close to, I mean, I love Tony Robbins, and I love Joe Dispenza. Uh, but what they do doesn't create the kind of results that I'm talking about. I actually invented an entirely new thing. It's called the Rapid Enlightenment Process. It has been peer-reviewed and published in the Journal for Advanced Research in Social Sciences. This is not just me making things up. This is like science-backed, proven methodology by a guy who has been teaching real estate agents since 1993. That's me. Book a call. Let's do this. I think that you are going to be so stoked to be in our community and get these kinds of results.